you the more I light my fire knife today. Uh, we're going to go over the specs and the pros and the cons of this knife. It was a knife that I got uh, a couple years ago from a family member. Uh, it was a gift um, and I've been using it ever since. Uh, it's an, so far it's been an excellent knife and I haven't had any money issues with it. But we'll go over some of the things I think that are really good and really bad about it. Uh, you know, and there are always, there's a bias to it, of course, but, uh, you know, we'll try and keep it down the middle based on experience and, and t uh, you know, testing and things like that. So, some of the features of the knife, obviously, there's a knife, a sheath, and a ferro rod. Sheath is made of plastic. Knife is made of stainless steel, which is Sandvik stainless steel blade. Uh, it's a rubberized grip, and then obviously the ferro rod down at the far end there. Um, the whole knife weighs approximately 3.3 ounces as per, as per the website and another interesting nice, uh, oh, sorry, interesting neat thing is that it's produced in multiple colors so you know black and green and orange and so on and so forth depending on what you know what kind of personality you have because that's, uh, that uh, individuality is always a nice thing to have when you buy something so that's a kind of quick rundown so we're going to go through some of the things that I liked about this knife so uh, and then we'll go over some things I didn't like so much so the first thing is I like the fact that it's multi-purpose yes so we have a knife and a ferro rod in the same same bundle so therefore it makes it multifunctional which when it comes to backpacking and hiking and bushcraft and survival all that stuff it makes it more valuable uh, it's a relatively light knife uh, it's not heavy at all, but sturdy and well constructed. I mean, I've been using it for two, at least two plus years, and it's uh, it's taken a beating, but it keeps on keeps on going. Uh, the rubber grip on this particular knife is fantastic. It uh, it it works fabulously in the in the rain. Like you don't you don't lose the grip at all. Uh, it was sharp out of the box, as I remember. I cut myself a couple times, so. Uh, maybe that's more clumsiness than anything, but it was very sharp as far as I could tell. Um, another nice feature is that it's a durable sheath uh, made of plastic, uh, very rigid and very strong. And another interesting thing about it as well is that it has a water drain hole at the bottom, so if it does get wet, it, the water doesn't stay in the sheath. And uh, I think one of the coolest features, obviously, is that you can get the different colors, which is great for the consumer. Uh, so that's kind of some of the pros I saw. Uh, some of the cons, which aren't really big things, but they're kind of unique to myself, so that, again, it's a bit of a bias, but it's it does change how I feel about the knife. The first thing is the hand grip with the ferro rod. So when we put the ferro rod back into the hand grip, when I grab this knife, my hands are pretty big. My pinky finger will sometimes tug on the ferro rod, and it will actually accidentally pop it right out, which is kind of very annoying. Now, is that uh, a deal breaker? Not at all, but clearly you have to have it rotate and open on one side, so therefore it's either left or right handers are going to get the bad end of the stick, and it turns out the left handers are going to get that one. Interestingly enough, the same issue is with the sheath. It's plastic, it's rigid, it's non adjustable, therefore it's a right handed sheath, whereas I'm left handed. So that again causes somewhat of an issue in terms of drawing the blade. Uh, carrying the blade and so on and so forth. It's very awkward and not very fun. Uh, another uh, thing that I just kind of touched on, but if they had made this adjustable, then that would have been the change. It's not so much the sheath is plastic and it's right-handed only, but they could have maybe created some sort of methodology where it could clip on the other side. But really, it, it comes down to they have, probably have to do it one specific way, just the way it sits into the into the sheath and gets pulled out because it uses this little push stopper but it's it's a mold basically so and it can be a little tight at first but then as you get using the knife and stuff it begins to work better and better and better so you know not really bad cons but they are just unique to myself being a left-hander I know you know the majority of the population is right-handed which is fine there's no issue with that um, but the reality is, is that that can affect the way the knife performs with somebody like me so Overall, I think this is an excellent knife for the price. I think it was only like 36 bucks Canadian. So that'd be like, I don't know, what, $25, $30 American, so not very much. Uh, great for beginners. It can take a beating and keep on going. 
is, again, the multifunctionality functionality in terms of learning and getting out there and doing stuff. It's uh, bar none one of the best starter up knives you can you can basically get. But you know you could also look at the other more series like the companion knives. I know were really good too. Um, slightly a step up, but very similar, but they don't have the light my fire. So it also depends on what you're trying to go out and learn early on and so on and so forth. Because you can always purchase the ferro rods separately. Like a lot of YouTubers, you'll see they'll have separate ferro rods kind of attached maybe by loop and hook uh, around their belt or whatever like that. So, or as maybe in a lanyard or something like that. So you don't always need the ferro rod in it. This makes a beginner's learning session a lot better because they don't have to decide on what's more important. They just kind of buy the package at a very inexpensive price and kind of go ahead. So, yeah, I'm going to give this a, a, a good rating. And, uh, you know, if you guys have any additional comments or things you'd like to add to that, feel, feel free to write that into the comment section. Uh, otherwise, I think this is a great knife and it's any beginner could use it. And uh, thanks for uh, watching and uh, subscribe, like, and share. Thanks.